Go. Hello and welcome to art class today. Yep. Today we're going to be drawing glass things. Yep. You can see the pictures on the left. There's a glass bowl at the bottom that's kind of a fish bowl. Yeah, and there's a, a, and there's like a little bottle, glass bottle. A glass bottle, yeah. And then the top one is a glass sphere, yeah. like a ball. Like a glass ball. Mm hmm. So, glass, some people, well, rightfully so, think that glass is a hard thing to draw. But actually, there's a simple way to kind of imply glass, and that's just to draw just what we see of it. Yep. Um, sometimes you will be tempted to draw <laughs> something because you know where the edges are. But something like glass, we don't always see every um, edge of this, especially on these circular glass things. So, without further ado, let's pick yeah. one of these to do first. Yeah. Um, I think, let's start with the sphere, since there's no opening, so it's kind of yeah. the simplest shape. I, I thought that too. So there's a sphere. Um, so first of all, we're going to need a circle, and I'm going to be working in pencil right now. Yeah. Um, so is Olive, she's sh uh, sharpening her pencil. That looks pretty good. I can't sharpen it. Yeah, let me sharpen it for you. So make sure your pencil is nice and sharp because you'll need to do fine lines. And then when it's sharp, also, you can kind of hold the pencil on its side and do thick lines, too. Yeah. Uh, so for glass, you really need a gentle hand uh, for certain areas. So we're going to start with a, a circle here. Just draw yeah. as good of a circle as you can. Yeah. Be light with your finger. Don't, don't press down very hard. We want a light circle. Very I good, Olive. Okay, and on this circle, I see the the bottom half has a dark line going on it. So I'm going to start somewhere in the middle, and I'm going to darken up the bottom part of this circle. Me too. Just the bottom, trying to really line in there. Okay. All right. And now I see towards the top, um, there's a big shape, like a football almost. That's very light gray, so I'm going to, as light as I can, color in this shape right here. This sort of football shape of gray. And then inside that, there are these interesting little uh, shapes of, I think, probably whatever light source lit up this ball. So there's like a one and then one on this side. Those are white. So everywhere that's outside of that now, I'm going to color in very lightly gray with the side of my pencil. And if I can maintain a kind of a light. So instead of going straight down with the tip, we want to hold the pencil really sideways like this. See how, look at, look at the paper there. See how you can get really nice color like that? Isn't that nice? Try it. So yeah, if we hold kind of like this, we can fill a lot of space very quickly with a pencil. That's one really good trick you want to try to unlock with the pencil. Okay. Looking pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and color even lighter down here. Now you can use your finger if you want and really blend in that area that you just did. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and where do you put that little eraser? There we are. Then we can draw with our eraser as well to bring out those squares that we did. And bring out the outside. There we go. Yeah. Because when we draw with pencil, the, the cool thing is we can erase, um, not just to fix mistakes, but to um, sort of draw with white. I don't know, this looks all right. I think what I need to do is also darken the top of my circle a little bit. It, got, it kind of disappeared, which is outside of that gray area. The bottom kind of disappeared too. The bottom? So I'm going to make sure that... I have this bottom nice and filled in dark. No, the inside. 
Oh yeah, that's okay. I didn't really need too much of it. Now take this eraser out of it, and you can you can lighten up some areas. How how cool uh, made my finger. Made your finger silver. I'm so pretty. Let's erase a little spot here, and a little spot here. I'm gonna do it with all my fingers. Mhm. Mm Not on this drawing. Let's wait for the next one, okay? Okay. There. Very good. So you can see on mine the uh, sort of effect. I'm gonna zoom in on mine real quick, Ollie. The effect of the light is what makes it look like glass. So it's not perfect here, but um, to me what what really makes something looks like glass is when you have a dark color right next to a light color. Or your your shades are butting right up against each other. So if I made this uh, white shape less blurry, it would look more glassy. Um, but I wasn't super careful around there. Hold on, Ollie. See if I darken this up, if that'll increase the effect or if that'll kind of kill the effect. We'll see. That well, could be a good plan. It looks glass enough to me. All right, let's let's do another shape. Okay, Olive, uh, you ready? Yeah, but you can't find my pen. You forgot your pencil. Here it is. Okay, so let's move on to this bottle here. So a slightly more complex shape, but actually we'll see how it actually will probably be easier to see the glassiness of something like this versus... Um, just a ball because now we can rely on some of the lines um, instead of just the reflections so first let's just quickly sketch this shape so this one has a long no oh, actually I gotta move in view here um, excuse me all of you can draw over here over here okay Okay, so I've got this long middle section, and it comes in on both sides, down, and around. Alright, um, I noticed that the middle of this bottom actually is lighter than the outside, so I'm going to make sure that I have uh, a lighter line in the middle and kind of a darker line towards the bottom or towards, towards the sides and then I've got an I can see the inner rim sort of like this okay and then fix my shoulder here and then for the uh, for the lid got sort of a darker line like here a under little, the I'm drawing a horse. I'm drawing a horse similar kind of it. Oh, cool. It, the horse is and then we've got this top rim, which I do see the whole line, so I'm going to just go ahead and do the whole line. And it goes up. Uh, i got a second rim above it, a little bit lighter. And then we've got the inner line. So what I'm doing is looking looking at the because there's very specific lines on something like this bottle if I zoom in the picture is not very high quality but that's okay um, if I try to ignore all the white and just look at the black um, there's this very specific it's a unicorn um, pattern going on but if I just try to copy that it should look like glass it should be nice and uh, Actually, it's a unicorn. It's a glassy. See? The, the horn. Mm-hmm. Oh, good job, Ollie. It's a unicorn. Something like that. It's not perfect. But that's okay. I'm drawing all Our drawings that. will never be perfect. We just want to try to make them better than the last one. Even that is a challenge These sometimes. These are all of the hay that it ate. Alright, and then the bottom I see another circle. So now that I have drawn sort of the outline, I can go ahead and erase certain parts that I see are lighter 
then I've drawn them. Because um, I don't need every line of the edge, like I said. Uh, let's see, where is that? I only need what's there in the picture. Then when I'm making up my own glass, I can uh, I can use what I learned from this glass. Like, okay, uh, it seems like the curves you can usually see, um, but the straight lines you don't see as um, as clearly. So if you're drawing something else, the areas that curve, draw them darker. Anything that's straight um, on a glass object. Uh, is see-through. So here's an object that's fully curved, this fishbowl. Um, so let's go ahead and try to draw that now. I'm going to draw it up here. So this one, it's not a circle. It's more of a, so if I drew a circle that was a little bit squished, like an oval, uh, and then the top is even more squished. So then at the top, I also have this very thin ellipse. An ellipse is any kind of squashed circle. All right, now I've got the general outline, and now I'm going to go ahead and just really emphasize the things that I see dark. So I see that the whole bottom of it, maybe starting from here, sort of follows this shape of of darkness right here. If I sh shade everything out of this, especially on the sides, that should give it that glassy effect. You can see how this is, I would consider this just like last week, um, last week's video I posted. Um, this is very much a study, so I'm not trying to make a beautiful piece of art that I put on the wall or give to a friend, really. This is what I use this whole sketch pad for, pretty much, is just studies, which are just uh, basically just drawing practice um, for when you're doing more of a serious project. All right, I'm realizing that my ellipse is a little too wide, so I'm going to go ahead and Make it smaller, make it lighter in shade too. Alright, now I'm going to really go in dark at the areas that I see fit. So dark, dark. And I want to draw this inner circle there. That's pretty good. I uh, have so old, uh, need you. graphite all over my fingers. So that's kind of taken away from it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, a little glass bowl for you. A glass jar. A glass ball. Oh, I, do out of I, I missed the I missed the yeah, ball. That's okay. Um, real I quick, would, let's do a glass star. I'm I'm to do the glass ball. So from what we learned, I'm going to try to apply that to something without using a reference. So what I learned is that curvy areas tend to be darker, um, as do areas down yeah. towards the back. Towards the but base. We have to curves. be a, like a big center of a star. Like a big center of a star. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a star. Um, sort of like this. Two, three, four, 
and like a Patrick star. Um, and then I'm going to make it three dimensional by drawing a line down from each point and then redrawing the star around that. Now that I have this general shape of like a, I don't know, a star cookie, now I'm going to see what can I do to try to make that more glassy. I'm going to go ahead and take my own advice and just darken the strong curves in this. Look, it, this, the unicorn is thinking about a star. That's the inner sides. This is thinking about a star. Hmm, interesting. All right, and then I'm gonna erase maybe the areas in between a little bit. It's just an experiment, see if it works. Um, I'm going to make sure I can see the inner edges as well. And the bottom edge even should be darker. This would be what you could see if you could see through it. Um, that's not too bad. I wish there was some kind of information in the middle, but I don't really know what to do there. Maybe a reflection. So the reflection would be light, so I have to now darken everything around it. Let's see if this works. Now it kind of looks like a uh, pancake with butter on it. No, but I see the 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 um, the glassiness of this. It's a little bit of a hazy glass since I uh, since it's a blurry pencil drawing here. But I think yeah, that that works to uh, to have the effect of glass. Putting a dark next to a light, so this really dark black next to a white, same like this and this, or the shadow in here. So no fade. I think a fade really kills the glass effect, but hard edges seem to work very well. And also just uh, keep in mind that curves seem to um, seem to darken it uh, for whatever reason, introduce shade more than straight lines. So you can utilize that as well. If you want to make your whatever you're drawing look more like glass and look more see-through or look more shiny. Um, anyways, thanks for watching today's class on glass. Uh, you want to say bye, Ella? Bye. <laughs>